Inside the 559 studio, welcome to Football Friday Night. I'm Dave Griffiths. Eight teams remain in each class entering this evening. We are whittling things down to four. Regional Friday in Indiana. Let's run down what's on tap for this show. Taking center stage, a trio of rematches in Class 6A. Some of the best games the regular season gave us. Those highlights, a pair of juggernauts clashing in 4A. The two programs with the most state titles, Chittard and Cathedral, each play to stay alive. And we'll announce the winner to last week's Shelbourne Knee Center play of the game. All those stories, plus another week of massive change at Colts headquarters, throws another wrench into the Horseshoe's future plans. That story 20 minutes away on Football Friday Night. But we begin with a rematch of one of the most exciting games in 6A this year. Brownsburg beat Cathedral 42-35 back in August to solidify the Bulldogs as a state championship contender. And the Dogs tonight would be hosting their first regional since 1984, a rematch of that action against the Irish. End of the first half, Dogs knocked the first score. Caden Olinger, the Philly special, finds quarterback Jaden Whitaker for the score. Brownsburg 7-zip at halftime. A defensive struggle, second half. This is Brownsburg throwing the ball, picked off. Cathedral takes over. The offense gets the ball, and from there, they would take advantage. Danny O'Neill back to pass. Great job avoiding the Bulldog rush, chucking it deep, and David Ayers is there for the 35-yard touchdown. Knots things up at seven. Cathedral not done in the third. Carson Johnson from two yards out gets the job done. That's the last score of the game. Cathedral 14-7 advancing to semi-state. Center Grove's quest for three straight state titles continues as the Trojans host Warren Central. Trojans by a couple scores. Check this play out. Adonis Adams Figueroa fires off Josiah Edmond right into the hands of Joseph Walker, and that keeps the chains moving. Then, before halftime, Adams Figueroa evading the Center Grove rush. On the run, a dime of a pass to Walker. Hauling it in for six. It's still 21-14 Center Grove. Third quarter, Warriors going for the tie, but Gage Reese knocks it away in the end zone. Warren settles for three. It's a 21-17 ball game. CG marched down the field. Micah Coyle caps the drive with a touchdown. Final score, Cathedral advancing 42-32. They'll get Center Grove next. Reigning 6A runners-up Westfield staged a valiant fourth quarter comeback attempt that ultimately fell short in a loss to Hamilton Southeastern earlier this year. Those Royals are still undefeated. They are top ranked in 6A as well, and their faithful were out in force in Hamilton County tonight for this rematch. First quarter, HSE fourth and one. Big stop. Will Hemmerling, the one in the backfield to make the play. The Rocks get the ball. So here they are on offense. Play action fake, pump fake, but a fluttering pass goes down into the hands of Mason Alexander. A stout day for the HSED, and the offense would get a little something going here. Jalen Alexander, beautiful, evasive running to shed a few Westfield tacklers before he's finally taken down. That led to a Carter gut field goal, and a shutout on defense paves the way for HSE. Royals win 20 to nothing. They will face next Carroll out of Fort Wayne after a 21-20 win over Lafayette Jeff. In Class 2A, modern day, too strong for Triton Central, 35-28. 5A scores now, Merrillville, not enough. Valparaiso gets the win, 15-14, and Snyder over Mishawaka, 41-27. Now, 5A is perhaps the most wide open class in the IHSAA. There are a lot of teams that could claim to be the best, including Whiteland, which beat Plainfield, dominated them really a month ago, 45-14. That rematch this evening, Warriors looking for their first regional title in more than 20 years. Quakers on the move early, though. Little pitch and catch, Hunter Newell to Isaiah Miller. First down for Plainfield, keeping the chains moving. Later on the drive, Plainfield, fourth and one, but Noah Hessem forgets the football. Whiteland's got it. That prevents some points. Warriors finding their offensive groove as Kevin Dunham, the quarterback. Good play fake to freeze the defense. Then behind them, there's Gunner Hicks. Touchdown, Whiteland. First points of the game make it six to nothing. Later, Warriors knocking on the door. This time, Dedham, the quarterback, sneak his line and push him into the end zone. Whiteland, no troubles with playing field tonight. 49 to 14. In Evansville, Bloomington South visiting Castle. In the red zone is Castle capitalizing on a Bloomington South takeaway. Antonio Harris sprinting to the pylon and finding it. A 14 to nothing Castle lead. Panthers turn now. Jaron Alley the pass. A wide open Tyson Smith cuts the deficit to 14 to 7 to the second quarter. Little swing out to the side. 
Zach David to Lucas Walden. Walden, some great moves out there to evade the defense, but a big second half for Castle leads to a 31-14 victory. No class has a top two seemingly head and shoulders above the rest like 4A with New Palestine and Roncalli. The Dragons are undefeated 12-0, the Royals unbeaten against in-state competition, but only one can stay alive in this regional round. There are the Royal Faithful making some noise. Dragons trying to get something going, but Luke Hansen in to sack the quarterback. He runs for 3,000 yards and he sacks quarterbacks. So now it's the Ron Colley turn on offense. Eric Moyers back to throw. Look at end zone. Baylor Hurst, a great play to break things up and keep it scoreless. Now New Pal going to strike first. On a fourth down, Daniel Tippett uncorks one to Isaiah Thacker in the end zone. Dragons get on the board, but then Ron Colley would march right down the field. Moyers calling his own number. QB power left. The Royals didn't give up another score all game on defense, and they get the 20 to 7 victory. Huge win for Ron Colley. More 4A ball. Kokomo at Columbia City. First play from scrimmage. Columbia City running, but the ball goes on the ground. Brandon Bennett scoops it up. Takes it back to the five-yard line. Four first-half takeaways for the Wildcat defense. First offensive play for them is Dre Kirby. Off tackle into the end zone. Make it 7 to nothing. Into the second quarter. Now a 21 to nothing ball game. Evan Barker finding John Curl for the Kokomo touchdown. And Kokomo cruises 42 to 13. Don't let Bishop Chatard's four losses fool you. The Trojans play as tough a schedule in 3A as you will see. No doubt Yorktown is taking them very seriously as they meet this evening. And Chittard's 15 state titles also the most in IHSAA history. No doubt they want more. Drew Van Vliet, handoff to Luke Perica, a big gainer, and carrying multiple tacklers. Finally, drive ended with a touchdown. They get on the board. Van Vliet now hits Colin Guy on the run. Guy, not going to be caught. 14 zip, Bishop Chittard. And Guy showing he can do it on defense as well. As Yorktown going long into the end zone. But there is Guy for the pick. Another Luke Purica rushing score. They controlled things on the ground. Did Bishop Chittard as Luke bounces outside. Finds pay dirt. 42 to 14. Bishop Chittard. <coughs> Pardon me. Undefeated Owen Valley hosting Monrovia. The Bulldogs were 2-7 and seven entering the playoffs. Now they're down 7-0, but Elias Wagner finds Dustin Kostrewski for the touchdown. They would take the lead there into the second half, though. Owen Valley had a strong season start to finish. They're trailing by six. Here, Christian McDonald gets loose. Some great wide receiver blocking downfield. Touchdown gives him the lead, 21-20. But Monrovia, the miraculous playoff run continues. Josie hand into the end zone, 26-21. The Bulldogs. Stay alive in the playoffs.